Okay, today we're going to continue on with the colour detection and we're actually going to use it in a line following robot. Where the robot has to follow the line, detect the green turn signals, turn the correct direction at the green turn signals, when it gets down to here, detect the silver strip that tells it's coming into the chemical spill. Normally the rest of the program would rescue the can, but just at the moment all we have is the line follower that detects the green turns and the silver strip. So you'll follow along the line, hits the turn signals, follows the correct turn signals, gets down here, detects the silver strip and normally it would then go on to rescue the can but we haven't wrote that part of the code yet. Okay now let's look at the code I have for that program. It's pretty simple. Um, the code follows on from the previous tutorial on colour detection and it's much the same the first two lines just set up the sensor the next number of lines there are just my ranges. Now what I did was my actual colour detection part from my last routine I just put in this subroutine called color detect. It's just sub color detect, the same lines as before, and then at the bottom I say N sub. That allows me to call that subroutine anytime I like, much the same as a my blocks in the EV3 language. Oop. So here's just our whole program. So that's where the, the sub ends. This is our whole program starting from here. Now the while true loop is just the infinite loop. The very first thing I do is I call that subroutine detect color so I know the colors. Then I say if sensor one equals green, then I'm going to turn the motor sync on, motor A and D. My left motor will only be turned on 15 power. My right motor will be turned on 45 power and I'll do it for 300 degrees and when I'm finished I'll turn the brake on. Right? If that's not true, else if, I'll test the right motor, the right sensor. If the right sensor equals green, then it's the other way around. The motor is still A and D, but this time the left motor will be at 45 and the right motor will be at 15, again for 300 degrees. If I haven't found e green under either, I will test for black. All right? If we get black under our left sensor, what we'll do is we'll turn the left motor to negative 3 and the right motor to 40, and that will be just turned on. Not turned to a certain amount of degrees, just turned on. If that's not true, then I'll test for this one. I'll test if there's black detected under the right-hand sensor. If black's detected under the right-hand sensor, I'll just simply turn the left-hand motor onto 40 and the right-hand motor onto 3. Um, then I'll check for silver. And this time I say if the left sensor equals silver or the right sensor seen silver. So if either sensor seen silver, then I just do motor.stop and normally you'd put in there your routine to find the can, but I just do program.n that ends the program. Else, if none of those up there are true, I will just turn both motors on at the same power to drive straight ahead, and then it's over. So that's the whole program. Basically, I just call my color detect routine, check for green under my left, check for green under my right, check for black under my left, check for black under, our, under my right, check for silver under either one of my sensors or just go straight ahead. If none of those are true, go straight ahead. And that's my complete program. 